All right, guys, thanks for listening to Channel MMA. This video is all about Sabina Mazo. Shout out to Alejandro Chavez Murga. He actually requested this video a couple of days ago when the news broke, but didn't quite have the time to put the video out, but here it goes right now. Um, and also there's gonna be a video on um, the interview that Coach just did with Sabina Mazza. I believe it was her first interview since signing to the UFC. So that's a big deal right there. Big little signing to, I mean, big interview to get. So shout out to the coach as well. All right. So first, let's say congratulations to Sabina Mazza, man. She's been signed to the UFC. She's 21 years old. That's what we call new blood. There's fresh meat. There is fresh meat meat guys and I'll tell you one thing about fresh meat everybody wants to get a, a taste everybody always wants to get a piece of that fresh meat especially when you come in I wouldn't say that Sabina Mazo is branded I cannot say that about her but she was the LFA flyweight champion now one of two things can happen one of two things can happen with this signing congratulations of course but now we you know I say congratulations of course um I say that, look, look, guys, I say this about the channel. Channel MMA, this channel is for everybody. It's for the casual fans, the critical fans, and the crazy-ass fans. But right now, we are about to get critical, okay? We are about to get critical. When Sabina Mazo debuts, when she actually, she doesn't have to debut, when she signs her first bout agreement, when they announce that debut fight, we will know exactly the trajectory that the UFC has in mind for Sabina Mazo. So if Sabina Mazo gets to fight a Andrea Lee, or if they match her up with one of these Bantamweights that moved down, a fighter that we already know, then they expect for Sabina Mazo, they want to push her into that title really quickly. That, that's what we'll know. If they match her up with one of those type of fighters, then we know that they want to push her to the belt quickly. If they match her up with one of these fighters that was on the tough show, then she will have a slower climb to the belt. Which option is best out of those two? I will say the slow rise, the slow, almost meteoric rise to the top. If you look at it, if you put all the time in together, you know, Sabina Mazo has six professional fights. Uh, you can call it six. You can call it seven. You can call it eight. It could be 12. It's still not enough for UFC top, top caliber. I understand she was on the interview, right? In the interview, she was saying she would take any fight. She'd fight anybody. She's not ducking any phase. She's just staying on, on message. And the message right now is, I'm a UFC fighter. And I'm ready to fight. I'm not mad at that. I cannot be mad at that. I, I'm, in, I, I'm really going to enjoy watching her debut and kind of grow through the division. But I, I really hope that the UFC takes it slow with her. The thing about the, whenever they sign a young fighter, they're always so ready for them to turn into John Jones. They're always ready for them to turn into John Jones. All the young fighters are not John Jones. They may take a couple of L's along the way, but they might turn out to be a Max Holloway. Am I right or am I wrong? This is a brilliant signing right here. I will say this, Sabina Mazo, striker. She keeps it on the feet, mostly she keeps it on the feet and has a lethal leg kick, lethal head kick. Who does that remind you of? Holly Holm, came out of LFA, signed up to the UFC and she was all about the head kicks, right? But we've seen Sabina Mazo has had two finishes out of six fights. Both of those two finishes, she has left her opponents stiff as a board. You know, looking like, uh, looking like a Lay's potato chip on the ground, just curved with the arch back. <laughs> you know, she has laid, she's knocked him out, laid him out. If you guys don't know about Sabina, Sabina Mazo, please go and, um, Google, go and YouTube. You're right. If you're listening to this video, then you're on YouTube. I advise you stop listening to this video. Go and watch her videos, her fight footage. It will amaze you and it will allow you to see the potential in this fighter. 
Guys, when that debut match is booked, we will be on here talking about it. I will say this. I appreciate and will always respect the Sabina Mazo and these type of fighters who do interviews with smaller channels because that's how they get their name out there. I have I've actually become a follower of Sabina Mazo only because of the cha- only because of uh coach's channel because of all the interviews she did. So, I'm just going to be honest. LFA is not my jam. LFA is not my jam. I will watch LFA, don't get me wrong. I will watch LFA and I will enjoy myself, but not all the time. Typically when I'm watching LFA is because there is nothing else to do. And I just want to have the TV on and usually I have it on mute. So, just like I do with Joe Rogan, I mute Joe Rogan's ass on those commentary. I, I mute LFA too. I have to. I have to mute, <laughs> mute LFA. I'm sorry, guys. It is what it is. But um, but you can catch some good fights on LFA. So I do like to catch it every once in a while on Access. On a, well, here it comes on Access TV. I don't know how you guys are watching it. But um, our, once again, let's say congratulations to Sabina Mazo. She is in the UFC. That means she's about to get all of it, guys. She's about to get, like I said, the casuals, the criticals, and the crazy-ass fans. Anyways, thanks for listening to Channel MMA. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave your thoughts in the comment section.